Hello again. In this tutorial we're going to discuss competency 7 which is symbol identification, circuit symbol identification. Let's look at competency 7 is symbol identification. The method Hand the candidate the standard assessor's symbol chart and ask them to identify at least five unlabeled symbols, two of which must be antenna and earth. Your performance criteria, there are ten symbols remember. Five symbols correctly identified, two of which must be antenna and earth. So your job to pass this competency is to learn at least five of these symbols and two of them must be antenna and earth. The first one is a resistor Res resistor resists the flow of current. The next one is a switch you don't have to say what sort of switch it is it's a single pole single throw switch but it's just a switch for your purposes. The next is one you have to remember antenna and the next one you have to remember you have to get these two right antenna and earth next is a microphone next symbol is a single cell that could be a double A or triple A cell or a cell out of a calculator when you have a group of cells together you have a battery. This symbol is a speaker. This is a fuse. A fuse protects a circuit from overcurrent damage. And the last one is a lamp. That could be the indicator lamp on a power supply, the little red or green light that tells you the power supply or something's turned on. A lamp. So let's just go through them quickly again. You only have to remember five, but you have to remember antenna and earth and two others. Resistor, switch, antenna, earth, microphone, single cell, battery, speaker, fuse and lamp. Now don't forget there are software drills on this DVD or, or CD and those software drills can be used to test yourself about questions and, uh, and answers, multiple choice answers on the practical assessment and there will be software there to test your knowledge of these circuit symbols as well. Catch you in the next tutorial. Cheers for now.